Society. We're so glad you could join us today. It's a magical day as we're celebrating National Pets and Kids Day on the show. And we'll celebrate the magical bond that kids and pets can have. Today we invited a few young animal lovers to help with the animals on the show today. And we'll tell you about upcoming kids summer camps, which instill compassion, empathy, and respect for all animals. And from the most deplorable conditions to the tiniest of crawl spaces, our emergency animal medical technicians rescue animals in desperate of help. We'll find out what little critter they saved from this storm drain later on in the show. Plus, we'll introduce you to this adorable pair, the first of our bottle baby kittens to go up for adoption. Over a thousand bottle baby kittens are expected to go through the Arizona Humane Society's foster program. And you can hear how you can help these wee little ones. But first, meet my little co-host here. This is Emmy. She's a seven-week-old Torby who is one of the most incredible little kitties ever. She seems to be aware of her high rating on the adorable scale, and she walks like a little runway model. She crosses her paws one over the other as she struts down the hallway. Her personality is so sweet, but she's got a feisty streak, and she likes to bat around toys and gaze out windows and watch birds, and she's just one spunky little girl. All right, now let's meet a few other adoptable pets on the show today. We begin with Tyson and Panda, a cute canine couple whose love story is right on par with Lady and the Tramp. Perry, tell us all the juicy details. <laughs> well, these two met as pups. Uh from different litters and it's been a seven year love story since that they are really really bonded they get along just wonderfully you know, there's a lot of advantages to having two pets and when uh... the heirs and the mate side two, sees two dogs come in like this and they're very very strongly bonding we will put them on what's called the buddy system so they must go home together and like i said there's a lot of advantages to having two dogs especially when they've raised like this for seven years they know each other very well they're going to get along and they're just great companions you know when one goes to the vet the other one goes right along with them because they can't be separated they're that bonded they're just super super sweet doggies and uh, they're good with dogs, cats, and kids. The former owner tells us they've just been wonderful. Madeline here is having a blast with them. He's turning his back on his friend. He's a little camera shy here, Mr. Tyson. I got the girl, the black and white panda, and Madeline has Tyson. Come on down and check them out. What a cute pair they are. <laughs> Last week, we featured a Catahoula named Paisley who was hit by a car and made a full recovery at the Arizona Humane Society. Here she is with her new canine. Enormous Great Dane and her family reports that she is doing really well in her new home. All right, well, with flyaway ears that are per practically bigger than the rest of his body, Mighty here has an acute and powerful sense of hearing and ski. This serves him well and aids in his ability to hear a bag of treats being opened from clear across the room. And he certainly has learned to come running when he hears that bag of treats be opened up. This little guy is four months old, and don't let his little tiny statue surprise you. He is actually well-stocked. He's like a little tank here, so he's going to be a very adventurous dog if you're one to go out. Um, Avery's been loving on him over here and he's just having a great time now he is going to be super smart he's four months old he's going to stay on the smaller side and he was found at South Mountain by some good Samaritans and there was no collar and no microchip so they brought him to the Arizona Humane Society and unable to find his owners we went ahead and had him neutered and now he's up for adoption now from personal experience I can let you know that after a year of our cat being missing three days ago we got her back to our home thanks to a microchip so that is how important it is to have proper identification on your pets. I am, I am proof that you can get your animal back after an extremely long amount of time. So Mighty is ready to go into that home with someone who's adventurous, good with kids, good with dogs, good with other, other animals in general, and he is looking to go into your home today. I'm glad to hear your kitties back home, Ski. All right, well, American Pitbull Terriers are loyal, people-oriented dogs, and they love to be part of the family. In fact, they thrive in a family environment. Mac here is one of the gentlest dogs that you'll ever meet, and his favorite pastime is cuddling beside you. Lisa, tell everyone about this 61-pound lap dog. That's right. Mac here is a pit bull or a uh, Staffordshire Terrier. As you can see, he is, his tail is in constant motion, always wagging. He's a very happy-go-lucky kind of guy. He gives a lot of kisses. He's giving Hannah kisses over here. He loves children, and he make a great family pet. He's, you know, strong and going to need his exercise. So in the morning, if you run him out, take him for a little walk and bring him back home. He is going to be quite the couch potato when you head off to work. 
What we always recommend is come in and meet your dog and adopt based on personality, not on breed or size or what the dog looks like online. Please come in and meet your dog so that you can determine if their personality is going to fit best with your family. But Mac here is going to be one of the cuddliest ones you'll meet down at the shelter this weekend. He is a big lug of love. Thanks, Lisa. This weekend, the Arizona Humane Society is having a pity party. The adoption fee for Mac and all of the other adult pit bull terriers at our shelter are half off and includes a free micro chip, a certificate for free training classes, a starter kit that's complete with food bowls, a leash, collar, treats, and a toy. And let me tell you, there are so many exceptionally sweet pities that waiting for homes at our shelter. This here is Juicy, who was rescued by our EAMTs after living the rough life of a stray. She's easygoing and embraces every opportunity to share kisses or curl up on a cushy dog bed. And then another sweet boy is Bruno. He's another staff favorite, a beefy dog. Looks like a little tank, but he's really just a big ball of love. And he's lived with kids and other dogs and enjoys going for brisk walks and sprawling out in the middle of the room for belly rubs. And uh, be sure to check out these and many other pit bulls who are waiting for new homes by visiting our website, daisyhumane.org. Now, AHS cares for high-risk kittens to ensure that they receive a healthy start to grow into happy and loving family members. Ducky and Petrie came to our shelter when they were just a few days old and ski. They were raised in a loving foster home. They were. They were half a pound and still on the bottle when they came in. And foster mom Denise, who is a foster baby, uh, bottle feed baby expert, went ahead and took them in and created them to turn them into just wonderful family pets. Um, she says that Ducky is a little more on the adventurer side and that Pete, uh, Petrie is a little more independent, but these guys here just go to show the importance of with thousands of bottle-fed kittens coming in, how important it is to open your home to a fo be a foster parent. If that's not your specialty, there's other areas that you can go into, but these little guys made it thanks to the Foster Hero program and someone taking the time to get up every couple hours and feed them for a while and love on them and care on them like they, that was their mama kitten, mama cat, and now they are ready to go in their forever home. Denise did a great job with them. And, uh, you know, we are in desperate need of foster homes for these tiny little felines. So many arrive at our doorstep every day. And if you can help, attend our upcoming foster forum on May 7th at our Sunny Slope campus. There's more information at azhumane.org. Now, Pooh Bear is uh, from the Hundred Acre Wood. He dreams of a world made of honey, but don't let her gray muzzle fool you because Perry, this enchanting little pug, has a lot of pet to her step. I'll say, Ash, you know, I walked Pooh Bear the very first day she was put up on the adoption floor, and I, I brought her back to her kennel, and I would have guessed her age maybe at about five or so. This dog is 16 years old, and I'll tell you what, this is the case where age is truly only a number because uh, I, I could not believe it. This dog has the pep of, like I said, I would say about five years old, walks very, very briskly, lots of energy, yet nice and mature, so that's the advantage of owning a senior pet like this. She's got a great profile again, and you can see Reed with her right now. She enjoys the company of young children. She's going to enjoy the company, I think, the entire family. Again, don't let her age intimidate you at all. She's been in the shelter for a little while. She is an awesome doggy, lots of energy, lots of love to give, and just make her senior years golden ones for her. I love her little wrinkled brow. All right. Well, stay with us. Uh, find out more about the Arizona Humane Society's upcoming kids' summer camps when we come back.